Hey everyone, so there's some massive news so far that will cause Shiba Inu to spike. Be sure to watch this video until the end and drop a like as this is like really, really important. From what I'm seeing so far, volume is down 30%, fully diluted market cap up 2%, which is all nice and dandy. What we can see so far, if this is true, and this is actually happening right now as we speak, this is big news, it could reach back at its highest stages, or at least half of that. That is how positive this news actually is. If we check Dogecoin over here, it has not been doing as good as Shiba Inu. It's still breaking only half of that from, from its at its highest, which is still good. In the future, we shall see what happens with Dogecoin. But Shiba Inu is definitely coming for Dogecoin so far. From what I'm seeing with Shiba Swap, more people are selling Dogecoin off and actually buying Shiba Inu. Now, more investors are also coming both into meme coins and hype coins. So that's something to consider as well. Michael Sadier, the US dollar will tend to be on the reserve currency of the world and it would move Bitcoin real. So there's going to be a massive pump and uh, discusses buying more than Bitcoin with the 500 million bond sale his enterprise software company just completed. So we should be seeing, you know, some massive pumps from big whales. Again, if Bitcoin grows, which right now it has to hit the 42k barrier, uh, we should be seeing a big, big growth for Shiba Inu, especially with Shiba Swap, with Robinhood, with so much more. I just wanted to show briefly what this footage is actually about because it's to me, it's really important because it will raise the prices of Shiba Inu. MicroStrategy announcing Monday it's preparing to buy up to 488 million in Bitcoin with the proceeds of a 500 million bond sale it just completed. The business intelligence firm adding that it, it's approximately 92,079 BTC is being held by a newly formed subsidiary, MacroStrategy. So MicroStrategy completes 500 million offering of senior secured notes due 2028 with Bitcoin use of proceeds. This is basically in short term, it will increase the prices. This is like really exciting. The LLC. CEO Michael Saylor has made Bitcoin acquisition a second mandate for his 32 year old company after its main business of developing software. And joining us now. So you can see these are big numbers. MicroStrategy is existing. Approximately 92,000 Bitcoins are being held by a newly formed subsidiary. So this is how huge this actually is. To discuss is MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor himself. Hello there, Michael. Thanks for having me. Good to have you. All right. Congratulations on this latest raise. You're using the proceeds to buy more Bitcoin. So a lot of newcomers in the space always ask, is now the right time to buy? Well, we, it's always the right time to buy. We have a long-term view on this. I think that this is the decade of Bitcoin. This last decade was the um, was the first decade of Bitcoin, and and uh, it reached multi hundred billion dollars by March of 2020. But I think the pandemic catalyzed the next phase of growth and caused it to mature and come to the attention of institutional investors. And so I think the coming decade is, is the decade when institutions, corporations, governments and, and the that's so exciting banks coming in going in for bitcoin and also going for shiba inu they're gonna be probably going for top 100 coins i know a lot of my news actually applies to bitcoin by itself but this is some news that will make shiba inu massively spike up so this is really important keep watching like begin to adopt bitcoin mm -hmm. as a, a digital asset michael why create macro strategy to hold the btc i see this is a new subsidiary of yours when we did the bond financing, we um, we agreed that we would pledge the Bitcoin that we purchased as part of the um, the debt proceeds as collateral against the loan. But uh, we had ninety two thousand other Bitcoin, and there was no reason for us to collateralize the five hundred million dollar financing with billions of dollars of additional Bitcoin. So uh, we kept that out of the collateral package. We moved it into its own separate subsidiary. So right now they're holding. 500 million Bitcoin. This is going to be some big news to other investors. No one can even come close to that. 500 million. This tells you how big this actually is. Because uh, that increases our flexibility over time. Is there any concern in raising this much debt to buy Bitcoin, which is a very volatile asset? Well, I think tomorrow I'll run a survey on Twitter and I'll ask everybody in Twitter over the next seven years whether they think Bitcoin will go up more or less mm -hmm. 
than 6.15% per year on average for the next seven years. And then I definitely think it will grow more in the next 10 years. We all are going to look at it long term. But for Shiba Inu, it's looking like it will grow in the next three years. In five years, one cent is definitely possible. Even looking at it, one dollar is possible, which I will go into my future video on this. We'll let them decide. <laughs> Fair enough. So you're raising the debt to buy Bitcoin. I, I just wonder, who are these investors buying senior secured notes for 6% annual interest when they can just buy Bitcoin? Well, they can't buy Bitcoin because they have uh, investment funds and the, and the charter of the investment fund is to invest in corporate debt. So their choice is to buy corporate debt for MicroStrategy that's backed by Bitcoin and also backed by the cash flows of the intellectual property of an enterprise software company and get paid 6.15% interest. So what I'm seeing so far, just scrolling through here, is that a lot of these firms are starting to look into Bitcoin. And of course, after they look into Bitcoin, they'll be seeing, whoa, Bitcoin has large increases. What's the next coin we could look into? That could be Shiba Inu. And that's what's really exciting about this one. Of course, there's a few interview here, which I'll leave the link down below if you want to see that. But Tunisian finance minister says Bitcoin ownership should be decriminalized. Ali Kohli said in TV interview that the arrest of a local teenager has prompted the country to rethink its crypto policy. So Tunisia is actually taking steps on crypto. So we got to read this as well. And what we're seeing so far uh, said during a television interview over the weekend that he plans to change the cryptocurrency laws and Bitcoin ownership should be decriminalized. He said, according to an English translation, the proposed law changes after local media reported a 17 year old Tunisia boy was arrested in April for using cryptocurrency for an online transaction. The incident caused outrage in the Tunisia's crypto community, with many blaming the arrest on lack of regulatory clarity in Tunisia. So a 17 year old was actually arrested for using crypto. Now that is a, quite a news, quite a news actually. While regulators across Africa seemingly struggle with crypto policy, offering contradictory statements and issuing crackdowns, adoption by African retails is only speeding up. In appearance of Coindex, Paul Oxfold said that the African continent was leading in the world in global cryptocurrency adoption and encouraged the crypto community to have all eyes on Africa. Right. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But what we're seeing so far, Africa is getting into crypto by itself. We're seeing massive adoptions, countries picking this up, El Salvador only being the start, and this will increase. As I said in my previous videos, others will follow. Other cryptocurrencies will partner up with countries. It's happening. It's already happening with SafeMoon. It's already happening with Bitcoin. And it's going to happen with Dogecoin. And it's going to happen with Shiba Inu. I know it sounds crazy right now. A country partnering with Shiba Inu, that is crazy. But it is true. It could happen. At Swiss crypto conference last year, Tunisian central bank governor said that we are convinced that restraining a technology at its beginnings would be a big mistake. The central bank of Tunisia has opted at the strategic choice of positioning itself as a facilitator with the Tunisian innovation ecosystem. And efforts to get crypto friendly laws on the books in Tunisia have been languished, resulting in events like April's arrest. So right now, Tunisia is still steady on its crackdown. A lot of these countries are going in for it. But then there's a lot of other countries going in for a record pace. So even without clarity, crypto adoption in Tunisia is growing at a record pace. So Tunisia might be the next country that actually adopts Bitcoin, which will increase Shiba Inu's prices. Uh, Tunisia user registration on crypto exchanges like SEX are up 11% in the first quarter of 2021 compared to last year. Obviously, you know, the quarantine helping all of that, but we can see the community being pretty strong right now. And I know it's pretty crazy, but SHIB could actually hit $1. Will SHIB hit $1? Yes, and it will be a stable coin and hit one dollar and that's what we saw so far that's the answer from ship analyst on the one dollar question so after seeing such big news and tunisia you know being uh, having big adoption africa having a bit adoption these big companies company uh, coming into cryptocurrency uh investing 500 million it definitely tells you something doesn't it i'm really excited the fud is over and we're on. Again, this video is not financial advice, but uh, I think you got the clear idea. See you until next time.